He always had us laughing and chasing him, and he was a little wild one. But as many of you know, my family and I recently made a very tough decision regarding our beloved Gunner. And today I want to share with you more about the decision and how we were able to say goodbye to our sweet Gunner at home, thanks to an extraordinary company called Lap of Love. And Dr. Amy Adorian joined my family at our home to help our Gunner make his transition to the Rainbow Bridge. And I want to thank you. Right when I saw you, I just was so overcome with emotion because it's been about two and a half weeks now. And um, with us, you know, Gunner is such a big guy, and um, he had hip issues and torn ACLs and then developed something that he couldn't walk the last week and a half at all. He couldn't get up. So getting him to our vet, which is now 30 minutes from my home, it just seemed like, oh, I don't want to put him through that. So so many of my friends that know me said, you've got to contact this company, and we did. And Dr. Amy, you were amazing. And I guess in sharing this with some of my coworkers, that's when they said, would you talk about it? Absolutely. To even know that putting them down when you know it's the end of their life, mm -hmm. that there is a great option. Absolutely. Talk about what you do because you're a veterinarian. Yes. Um, and this is a full-time job for you, helping families do this in their homes. Absolutely. Yeah, Stephanie, thank you. It was nice to see you again. Um, obviously, I'm sorry the first way that we had to meet, I know. but um, yeah, so we do veterinary hospice and in-home euthanasia. So we provide the end-of-life care and services to um, your beloved pet in the comfort of your own home. Mm -hmm. And it's here in the Cleveland area and we'll travel um, to where you live and we'll help your pet again in the comfort of their own home where they can be at peace. and not experience any more pain. This was actually that day. You see, you see yeah. him looking at little Sienna. My son jumped on a plane from college and came home too. And as you can see, all the animals were with him. And I think not having uh, my son and daughter there and me, uh, my best friend was there and her husband, but um, having us all there in the comfort of his home with his other siblings yeah. really helped helped us. Initially, my daughter kept saying, there's no way, I don't want to have that done here. Mm -hmm. But I think toward the end, she realized it was all about Gunner, what's best for yeah. him. And putting him in a car, loading him up there, making that drive Absolutely. really was cause, it would cause him a lot more anxiety at yeah. the end of his life, which I didn't want to do. No. And it did bring us a lot of peace. Good. And that was, that was, we've never experienced anything like that. Yeah. But you talked us through, you prayed with Thank us, you, you yes, cried with we us. Did, we did. Um, yes. And you were there with, uh, you know, and it was all on our time when we yeah, were ready. Absolutely. And I think you telling us too that, you know, our vet had kept saying it's time, like he needs to go, um, you know, to, to a better place because yeah. he was in pain. Um, and you second that and gave yes. us great comfort. Absolutely. What's that like as uh, we're looking at pictures? Because Gunner was almost 14 years old. My kids only remember life with this sweet dog. Um, so it was hard, uh, no doubt, but you have to do what's best for them. Absolutely. What's it like as a doctor um, to do that? Because I and my friend Gina even said, this has yeah. got to be so sad for you. Yeah to see this every day and yeah. this be your line of work, but your answer was extraordinary. What did you tell us? Well, I, uh, I'm not sure if this is exactly what I said, mm -hmm. but um, something that I was thinking about, and I, we have it in our um, eternal paw prints booklet that we'll provide at the appointment, but I didn't become a veterinarian to save every pet. I became a veterinarian to help every pet. Mm -hmm. And it, it helps them, it mm -hmm. gives them peace, it, relieves suffering, mm -hmm. it prevents additional suffering, it basically gives them a, a death with dignity. Mm -hmm. It's it's hard on us as well. So that way we have the memory of them just falling asleep and then being at peace. Mm -hmm. And um, that, I mean, that's what they deserve, I think, for all that they give to us. Yeah. They do so much for us. So I think that's sort of the least, it's a gift that we can give them mm -hmm. um, to just be comfortable in their final minutes and moments. No doubt, they do give us so much love and, yes. um, and we, we need to, they deserve a peaceful transition. Yep. Yep. And um, boy, he, he just was smiling all the way, having all of his loved ones there in, in his own bed and yeah. with his, as Very I mentioned, relaxed. his little furry animals and as excruciating and heartbreaking it was, you made it as good as it could possibly be. And I want you to know, even from the first phone call that I made, 
Two, we received his ashes at our home, delivered the next day, so he was only away from us for a night. Mm -hmm. You guys are amazing. The company is extraordinary. Thank you so much. And we'll All have pet owners are amazing for loving their pets the way that they do. Aww, and Thank this you. is where I was telling you, um, I put Gunner's ashes in this, um, oh, yeah. in that big urn. And I have this mm -hmm. little paw print from our first Gunner and our second Gunner, but now he's by our front door and still a greeting committee to everyone who walks in. And you can see the cats hang out by there now <laughs> all the time, but he's in that lion urn and uh, his ashes, some of his babies, the paw prints, some of the fur clippings that you did for us. Yes. So I can kiss that big nose now all the time and know that he's in there uh, and still a big part of our family. Oh, I got that at TJ Maxx, by the way, that big urn, that statue. But he was robust, like a lion reminded oh, of, yes. of one. So beautiful, such a sweet boy. Thank you. He was the sweetest. Well, thank you so much. And your You're email. Welcome, You're a Stephanie. new mom. Congratulations. I am, yes. New baby at home. <laughs> a little baby girl. Yeah. Congratulations to you and thank your husband you. and your family. Thank you for having and me. And thank you so much for You're your welcome. kindness that day. Um, we had never met, but you were so yeah. sweet to my entire family. Absolutely. I, I mean, I, I want to help. I know what it's like. Mm -hmm. I have pets. I love pets. So I know how hard it is. So we really just want to help the best that we possibly can yeah. and this is like I said a gift for them for sure thank you Dr. Amy Adore we appreciate Stephanie. it with laps of love yes. a wonderful company yes thank, thank you. you so much